all right guys so i removed these steering knuckles they're right here as you can see the boots are completely torn and these ball joints need to be replaced so we're going to be showing you how to replace these ball joints all right guys so here is the broken ball joint as you can see the boot is completely torn so we have to replace it okay and uh you have to press it out right so this procedure actually covers the w123 and w126 mercedes and some other ones w201 and w124 ball joints are also pressed in but they're in the control arm they're not in the knuckle so but this will also apply to w220s w220 chassis also has pressed in ball joints all right so in the long story short i'm not going to show you how to remove the knuckles because i already as you can see mercedes right there i already you know i removed them but there's a lot of videos that i have on my channel how to remove the knuckle all right from these cars so let's go ahead and start replacing this ball joint so first thing is i'm gonna grab a hammer and start pounding this ball joint out the best is to have two hammers you can put one hammer like this and hammer with the other hammer but what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna start pounding this down Unfortunately, this knuckle decided to go really deep into the ground. That's okay. It's almost out. That's it, guys. The ball joint is out. Now I gotta dig out this knuckle. It decided to go all the way deep in there like so but here's the ball joint obviously there's a bunch of dirt in there now but as you can see the boot was torn it's pretty bad it was replaced before it's a miley made in germany but we're putting them forward ones now in there okay guys so what you want to do is you want to clean this right here the entire area where the ball joint is gonna sit okay and now I'm gonna take care of the brand new ball joint Lamforder brand only the best uh, so what you want to do is you want to remove this uh, boot so I'm gonna you have to be really really careful to take your time so you don't rip the boot but there's a ring right over here make sure they see there's a ring don't worry about this ring you can leave it alone just worry about taking this ring off so i'm just gonna carefully gonna take this so i'm gonna take this and carefully pry it i have to pry it up just gotta be really careful don't use too sharp of a screwdriver like that and now just go all the way around with the screwdriver like so oops not too far like that and now you can take the boot off like so that just comes off and now I'm gonna tape this area up so no dirt will get to it before we start pressing this ball joint in. All right, so here's the setup. This is the best setup that I figured out. Works for it without any cups right here in the front. I'm just using a C-clip right there. Make sure the ball joint is straight. So look at the ball joint all the way around and make sure that it's going in straight and then put a cup here and an adapter and that's it, you start screwing. The best thing is to have 
a helper uh, that's the best thing so my helper will be helping me or uh, will be helping me right now to press this bulge in i'll be using a 22 millimeter uh, socket and uh, yeah but that's basically the best way of how to do it if you have an air impact gun that's also another great option you might not need a helper basically i need a helper just so he can hold this while i'm turning this because this is going to be really tight all right, so Erwin is holding my knuckle right now. Another thing to watch out for is these threads, the spindle. Make sure you keep it protected and you don't let this, you know, against the concrete or anything so you don't damage those threads. And then Erwin will be holding this and then I will be turning this and also helping him. So that's as much as I can turn with the ratchet and now I have to switch to the breaker bar. So you can literally turn it and basically he you can turn a couple times recheck and then just to make sure that the ball joint is going in straight but it is going in straight you just look all the way around and make sure it's going in straight perfect so it will take you a little bit to press it all in and that's all it's pretty simple actually a lot, a lot of people overthink this one two three yeah. And one, two, three. There you go. She's almost there. Let's make sure she's going in straight. And she is. A little a couple more turns. Okay, so we're done pressing it in. Thank you for my helper Erwin. And then we can remove all the cups. And that is basically it, guys. Right there. Look at this. That's awesome, isn't it? Now I have to take this tape off, grease this ball joint up, put the boot on, and that's it. It's all on the car. Well, it took us what, like maybe like 10 minutes to do it? That's it. Okay, so I removed that tape and everything is nice and clean there. I'm ready to put some grease. It can be like wheel bearing grease, and that's fine. I'm gonna put a lot of it in there and feed it in and then install the boot. All right, she's ready to get installed on the car. Looking amazing. Those brakes, bearings, and we have brand new steering system. All the tie rods were replaced, ball joints, brand new, center steering, link. The only thing we didn't replace is the steering, uh, steering dampener. We're going to replace that later. Everything else is brand new, new idler arm. Amazing. Now I can move on to flex discs. <laughs> 